Our scripture reading this evening comes from Hebrews chapter 12. Continuing our study in this book and in this section, last time we were together in the evening, we looked at this subject of discipline as it was experienced by Christ himself, the discipline of Christ. Today we consider the same passage, but more in terms of its application to us in Christ as the children of God. We're looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 4, down to verse 13. And as you turn there, I remind you that these are not the words of a mere man, but the inspired, infallible, and inerrant words of the living God. Hebrews 12, beginning at verse 4. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline in which all have participated, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Besides this, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us, and we respected them. Shall we not much more be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time.